Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss what is Mongo's schema. So in my previous video guys, you would have seen this. We have made a successful connection. So today's video, we will see Mongo's schema. So without any further ado, let us start the video. For that guys, let us see the documentation. What is schema? Schema defines the structure of your collection documents in Mongo schema. Let us just copy this, right? Let me just copy this. Let me copy this and paste it here. So I'll just write it like this. A schema defines the structure of your collection documents. What do you mean by structure? Let me go back to MongoDB Compass. You can see in the screen. See, I have in my result doc browser as a data as a collection here i have javascript if you are just editing it you can see javascript i have given a string puppet here i have given a string value and active i have given a boolean value this is a document and structure of document is it should follow this particular data types that's it schema is nothing but just following a data type just following a structure for my document is schema. Let us see an example how we can write a schema. Let me write constant. Let me write camel case YouTube playlist equal to I will write mongoose dot dot schema will define the playlist. For example, result talk by as a I have a DB but I want to create another DB. See, if I do, if I just give a name, if the DB is not present, it will create a DB. Let us write test schema my DB, right? So I have created a constant YouTube playlist. I'll give as a new mongoose dot schema, right? New I'll have to give only the simple space. Here I'll write a structure. So this is my BSON. So I just wrote my playlist, whatever I have. So I have JavaScript playlist, I have Puppeteer playlist. So here I'll do the same, but I'll give a different definition here. Let's say in my YouTube playlist, I have a VB script, right? So let me expand this, right? So Control plus will expand the playlist. Fine. I think this is okay. So let me click here. Let's expand the YouTube playlist. So now, I want a name and I am defining it as a string. So name should always be a string. And I am giving a number of videos in that particular YouTube playlist. Right? Number of, I need this as a number. So number data type here number of videos so this will be the name of channel number of videos and author author i want to give as a string and i want to say is channel active so i want to write it as a boolean so we have given three data types here string number and boolean so this is my simple schema so next video we will see how what is a model, how model will create a collection based on this schema. Let us see in the different video. So that's it for the video guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you are a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.